Welcome to this week's edition of Warrior Weekly. As always, joining me, Assistant Athletic Director Travis Whipple. And Travis, we start with Warrior Women's Basketball. Uh, we knew they had a tough weekend ahead going out to Wayne State and Augustana. Uh, they fall two times, and really that, that suffocating defense of the 2-3 zone uh, really you know, put, the, put the Warriors away on Friday night. Well, we talked about it last week. It's really difficult two teams to prepare for, very different styles. Um, as you mentioned, Wayne's suffocating zone and, and kind of their length, I think, very difficult. So you really have to shoot well against Wayne. Um, they slowed down a little bit, and then next night, Augustana is going to push it, shoot a lot of threes, that kind of thing. But um, a very tough road trip, nonetheless. Two difficult venues to play in. And um, I think the positive comes out of it is you, you see Dulas coming back playing 37 minutes. That's great to see. I think uh, very important for the team. Uh, coming down the stretch. Michelle McDonald continues to play well, getting rebounds, uh, shooting the basketball over 60%. Um, finds herself uh, tops in the nation or top five in the nation in percentage from the field. So that's good to see. Um, team continues to shoot the ball well from the free throw line, almost 80% and uh, best in the nation. So a lot of positives. Um, can't hang your head. you got to get back and, and get ready for another tough road trip this weekend. Yeah, certainly on Saturday night they faced the NSIC uh, player of the Week, Molly Hayes, she went over a thousand points for her career. Uh, she really had a great night and you know you got to applaud the effort in Augustana, one of the hardest venues, that, you know, obviously you've played there, one of the hardest venues to play in. Um, their crowd really gets into it. They were down 13 but they fought their way back, um, but just that second half, too much of Molly Hayes and Megan Doyle. Well you got to love the fight, they, they brought it all the way back, tied it up at one point, but you're right, a tough venue to play at. Um, you know, depth perception's a little tough in there. Um, both ends of the court aren't necessarily the same. They kind of got a long uh, backdrop at one one end, and um, great fans at Augustana. You know, so it's always t it's a tough place to play. Men's basketball. We talk a little bit about probably the biggest shot, um, other than maybe the Cody Schilling shot on Saturday night. Kellen Taylor uh, only had four points in the win over Wayne State, but he had the final shot from the free throw line. Really, that was set up by C.J. Erickson, who you know, drove the entire length of the court by himself, found Kellen Taylor. Taylor had enough time to give the pump fake, then take the shot. Um, how important was it for this Warrior team to defeat Wayne State, especially going into that Augustana game on Saturday night? Well, I don't think, I don't think people realize the quality basketball team Wayne State is. I mean, they're a very good team and a very disciplined team. I remember seeing them play at the conference tournament last year, and they're just well coached, and they're going to play hard. Um, and, and that's always, a, a, again, a tough place to play. And so you got to have road wins in the NSIC if you want to be a champion. And um, so that, that was huge to get that shot. Um, excellent job by Kellen Taylor, who um, I think it just shows the versatility of the team that you know, might not be the first option, but somebody you, you trust and count on to make a shot like that. And it doesn't get any easier as they head out west uh, for a little old-fashioned show now with the Mavericks and the Mustangs, a team that they lost to here at home. And Southwest, obviously, Anthony Tucker's half-court buzzer beater. Uh, both those teams, very good home teams. Uh, seven and one are the Mustangs, and nine and zero oh are Man is Mankato. So uh, really, they continue this this road stretch that um, could make or break their season. Oh, absolutely could. And, and both uh, Southwest and uh, Minnesota State Mankato are, are very good at home. A lot of pride in their program, and, and so it's going to be tough. It's going to be dogfight out there, and. Again, uh, two teams that play hard for their coaches, and so uh, really, really need to play at a high level um, going out there on the road. And Clayton Vetti, 13 and 13 on Friday night against Wayne State, 26 and 12 against Augustana in the losing effort. Obviously, Cody Schilling dropping 37 points, another NSIC Player of the Week. So both the men's and women's team running into uh, hot Augustana shooters. We now uh, move to women's track and field. They come off. Uh, probably their best meet of the season, arguably. A lot of top finishes, um, the field athletes, the runners, all pitched in in the effort uh, at, was, uh, at the Wisconsin Stout Open, uh, just to name a few of them. Uh, Mary Thiessen once again claims the overall title in the shot put. Uh, Rebecca Steer won the weight throw. Um, so really, they're just getting started here in their indoor season, and they're starting to dominate already. Yeah, they're playing, you know, participating very well. Twelve titles overall, and you know, I was really impressed with the runners this past weekend. We hear a lot about the field athletes, but I think the runners really stepped up big, and and now uh, this coming weekend, a chance to go um, to the University of Madison, a huge invite there, where um, we're only able to put our top two at, at every spot. So I think a great event for our, our Division Two student athletes to go to. 
Oh, absolutely. And uh, they, they get back underway here. Uh, I think they're in lacrosse next week, so make sure uh, you get down there. They're a lot of fun to watch, a lot of good runners, Steve. and obviously uh, great field athletes as well. Uh, softball also, uh, you know, rejogging the memory about softball. I know it's January, but uh, Molly Bielen named NSIC preseason player of the year. Uh, the team itself is slated at number three in the NSIC behind Augustana and Wayne State. So looking a lot like uh, women's basketball preseason rankings. Um, really a team uh, that proved that they were a dominant, uh, a top tier team in the NSIC last season. Absolutely, and, and did it l largely in part without our, our arguably top pitcher, who's uh, Stacy, who's out most of last year and has been rehabbing and probably going to factor into the mix this year. So I think that's a positive sign. And, and Molly Bielen, outstanding job, you know, um, just a vital part of the team. Outstanding in the outfield, so many great catches last year. Uh, we're really just excited to get this season underway. Um, really fortunate to have an early season tournament in Rochester in the, in the dome there, the NSIC RMAC crossover, so we're real excited about that. But uh, hearing great things from the team, practicing hard, and I think they're just ready for that first competition. Another side note, uh, baseball, Tony Mueller named an All-American, a preseason All-American by Baseball America. Uh, you know, you, you talked a little bit with Kyle Polk, and really this is a publication that not a lot of people hear of, but they cover a lot of baseball, and this is a pretty prestigious honor for Tony and the program. Huge. Uh, you know, I think it's it's kind of the publication that all the scouts look at and things like that, and, and Tony's got an outst you know, outstanding opportunity ahead of him. Um, just a, a great person. I think he'll go far in life, but a, a real chance to make it in professional baseball if he, if he so chooses. Yeah, Tony Mueller headed out to the Cape Cod League this summer. It's, you know, hard to think about already looking ahead, but uh, certainly good things for Tony. Uh, make sure this weekend upcoming, uh, a lot of things happening here uh, and in Mankato and Southwest. Remember, women's get underway on KQL at 6 p.m., men at 8 p.m. That is Friday and Saturday uh, in Mankato Friday. Southwest Minnesota State on Saturday, so hopefully we'll be coming back with four wins. That'll do it for this week's edition of Warrior Weekly. We'll see you next week.